yes, yes, yes. Hey guys, it's Hayden, and today I thought I would share with you some of the books on my summer reading list. I am a big fan of reading, and I thought maybe if y'all are looking for a good book, we can read some of these together. So I'm gonna start off with two books that I actually have already read during the school year, and the first one is Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. And this book is about a girl that is OCD. And I thought it was super interesting. There's some poetry involved and it's realistic fiction about a teen, which is like my favorite kind of book. But uh, yeah, I thought this was really good and really interesting to see what it's like to be OCD. The second book that I read is, for, actually we had to read it for school, and it's Tim O'Brien, The Things They Carried. And I included this in here because it's a different type of book than what I normally read, and it's basically a collection of war stories. Um, this book is metafiction, so part of it's true and part of it's not. It's a really interesting concept, but um, yeah, it's got a lot of good messages in it, and if you're into war stories. It's about the Vietnam War then. Check it out. Okay, so the books that I want to read... Oh, one fell, but I would this pile. Alright, so the first book is one that I'm currently reading. I'm about... whoa, I'm more than halfway through. But it's called The What We Saw by Aaron Hart... Is that a Z? Hartziller. Um, but it's basically about this girl who went to a party got sexually assaulted at that party and guys in her at her school are accused of the crime and yeah there's just a lot that it's like slowly unfolds and the whole point is the closer you look the more you see so um yeah i i like it so far um the next two books are on my summer reading list for school of mice and men by john steinbeck um I really know nothing about this book, uh, so it's a short story, I'll let you know. Uh, the next I picked on my own because we got this list, blah blah blah, it's called The Awakening by Kate Chopin, Chopin? and it is. it was written in 1899 and it was one of the first books about feminism and kind of challenging the way that females were traditionally seen. So yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. It's also a short story. There's some like additional books in the back, that's why it looks a little bit bigger, but yeah, let you know. This book I got, it's called The Visible Man by Chuck Klosterman, and I got this because I watched a super fruit video, which is um, Mitch and Scott from Pentatonics, and they had recommended it, and it's about a man who can be invisible and he observes different people and talks to his therapist about them. So that sounded super interesting to me. Uh, the next two books I just got because I was at the bookstore and they looked good. Uh, this this one is This Is Where It Ends by... I'm not going to try to pronounce her name, but it'll all be in the description box below. And it's about a school shooting and it's from four different perspectives over 54 minutes in this closed room with a gunman. The last book I got and I want to read over the summer is Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. Um, and it's got all the seven deadly sins on the front. But um, I didn't really learn much about this. Oh, apparently it's about seven students, seven deadly sins, and one secret. So yeah, it is also realistic fiction, and I just like I just like books like that, and it seemed really interesting, and I like the cover. Don't judge a book by its cover, but so yeah, um, I think I'll probably do an update video at the end of the summer or whenever I finish these books to let you know what I thought of them, and let me know in the comments below if you've read any of them or if you're going to read any of them along with me, and give this video a like you want and subscribe for more videos so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys later bye